The French parliament has voted down a flagship immigration bill of President Emmanuel Macron's centrist government. In a stunning setback for the government, the French National Assembly adopted a motion to reject the controversial immigration bill without even debating it. The bill is a mix of measures aimed at expelling more undocumented people and improving the integration of migrants. It facilitates the regularization process for undocumented workers while providing greater scope for deportation, especially for foreigners who commit crime. The bill also addresses the simplification of immigration litigation while fast-tracking the asylum process. Neither the right nor the left back the bill. Right-wing or right-leaning parties are critical for the section allowing legalization of undocumented workers, while left-wing or left-leaning parties see the text as another repressive law. Euh, en l'espèce, nous avons, en votant cette motion de rejet, protégé les Français, encore une fois, d'un appel d'air migratoire supplémentaire, euh, d'une prime à l'illégalité, du schéma... C'est, euh, au fond, l'épuisement du « en même temps ». C'est un rendez-vous manqué sur une question euh, importante pour les Françaises et les Français. Et sa force euh, de vouloir euh, contenter euh, prétendument tout le monde... On mécontente l'intégralité des bancs de cette Assemblée avec une loi qui était guère plus qu'une loi de police des étrangers. Despite repeated pleas by the French Interior Minister Gérard Damana, the National Assembly rejected the bill by 270 votes to 265. The bill could now be sent back to the Senate or the government could decide to withdraw the text. Hier, on a rejeté le débat. On n'a pas rejeté le texte. La motivation du gouvernement et la mienne est intacte pour faire adopter les mesures pour que, non pas nous, parce qu'on a bien vu qu'il y avait des difficultés politiques, mais que les policiers et les gendarmes aient les moyens de lutter contre tous ces faits divers et ignobles que nous constatons. Je constate aujourd'hui qu'on ne me donne pas les moyens pour combattre cette délinquance étrangère, pour combattre l'immigration irrégulière. France is not alone in struggling with ways to deal with illegal immigration. The entire Europe and the UK are reeling under the increasing inflow of migrants. As estimates say that over 2 million migrants illegally enter the European Union region every year. The numbers for UK stood at over 50,000 in the year ending June 2023. So countries from the UK to Italy and now France are hard pressed to come up with ways to control the inflow. While UK is trying to sign deals with Rwanda, Italy is doing the same with neighboring Albania. In the Southern Hemisphere, the government of Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is lo also looking at ways to control the migration migraine. Just this week, the Australian government announced that it will introduce stringent visa rules for international students and skilled workers entering the nation. The Australian government plans to continue this for the next two years. The government says its strategy goes beyond mere numerical adjustments and is focused on shaping Australia's future through a comprehensive migration process. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.